Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Online Fabric Store and today I'm going to show you how to dye clothes in the washing machine. Specifically, we are going to be working with RIT dye. When purchasing your dye, you are going to want to purchase one bottle of RIT dye to every two pounds of fabric that you have, or if you're using the powder dye version, you're going to want to use one packet to every one pound of fabric that you have. And don't forget to pick up some RIT dye fixative. Let's get into it. Make sure that there are no visible stains on your fabric. For a front-loading washing machine, wet your fabric in the sink beforehand and then add it to your machine. For a top loader, start the wash cycle and wait until the drum starts filling with water. Add your fabric and make sure that nothing is knotted up together. There should be enough water in the machine for the fabric to move freely. When you are dyeing, make sure to use the hottest water that your fabric can handle. You want the wash cycle to be at least 30 minutes, but the longer the better. If you're dyeing something really large like sheets or draperies, you should check the washing machine several times throughout the cycle to untangle the material so it will dye evenly. For liquid fabric dye, shake the bottle and pour it into the machine. For a front loader, simply add everything to the dispenser. If you are using powder dye, Mix it in a bowl with several cups of hot water until the powder is fully dissolved and there are no clumps before pouring it into the machine. For a top loading machine, pour the dye around the drum after the water has completely filled and right before the beginning of the agitation part of the cycle. Depending on the material you are using, you are going to want to add one cup of either salt or vinegar to your dye bath and also a squirt of dish detergent which will help the dye to spread evenly. For best results, you are going to want to apply RIT Color Stay Fixative before the final rinse cycle. So as a recap, you're going to need your dye, salt or vinegar depending on what material you are using, a small squirt of dish soap, and RIT Color Fixative. Run a rinse and spin cycle with cold water and then dry your fabric like normal. To wash your machine after you dye your fabric, wipe out the inside of the drum and lid, pour some bleach into the internal dispenser, add your detergent, and run a hot water cycle with a few old towels. And we have made so many dye tutorials and several Q&As, so if you're unsure what dye to use or whether you should be using vinegar or salt or maybe an all-over dye isn't your desired look, check out the playlist that I'm going to link above and down below in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more crafting tutorials, tips, and tricks, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.